Welcome back to the Neuroband channel. In this video, we are going to stack our very first Neuroband image. We're going to keep it extremely simple for you. And trust me, this is easier than any one shot color processed image you'll ever work on. Now, the software that I'm going to use is a software called OzTap, and it's made by a gentleman named Han over in Germany. And it is really easy to use. It's actually very, very powerful. It's much better than DSS. And I would say it's kind of right up there with maybe Serial. Probably the only thing that's more powerful than OzTap would be PixInsight. This is gonna be a three-part video series. This video is just going to be black and white. It should be the very first photo that you ever do. It's super easy. It's much easier than one-shot color. And then we'll do a bike color and finally a Hubble palette image in the third video. Let's get started. Let's launch. OzTap. OzTap is a free download and it will work on Linux, Windows, or the Mac. The very first thing I'm going to show you how to do here is how to go into the file, settings, and we're going to return to the default settings. Now it is quite often, and this goes for any piece of astrophotography stacking software, you, you'll find yourself getting lost in the setting and you just need to go back to base one and start over. Great way to do it and also by having both of us do this, it's going to make it such that both of us are working with the exact same piece of software here. So let's relaunch it now. Now, when you launch it natively, there's just this window right here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. We click on the Sigma symbol right here and it's going to open up the stack menu. And this is basically our resources panel where we're going to uh, pick up all of the different elements that we need to make our image. With AzTab, you're going to start on the left and you're going to work your way to the right, which is pretty simple and easy to use. I hit the Browse menu button here and let's go into my hard drive and 1600 light frames. We're going to select an NGC 7000 object and for now, we're just going to stack the hydrogen data. So I'm going to select my hydrogen subs, bring them in here. And up in here, there's a couple different buttons you should pay attention to. So there's analyze and organize your images. And then there's this checkbox here. We can actually unselect images that we find that the software at least thinks are not as good. Now I'm gonna leave that unchecked for this particular example though. And you can see here, you can set different parameters as to how aggressive you want that selection to be if you were to use the computer. But for now, I'm just gonna hit analyze the images and it's gonna go through and analyze each image. As you can see, it's bringing up a bunch of different data, such as what filter was used, how it was binned, the size of the star, the quality of the background, and, and it'll read off a bunch of other things like exposure, gain settings, and so forth. Now that the analysis has been performed, I can actually click on any one of these parameters at the top here so just quality and we're gonna to go to the very top. We'll double click and let's look at the lowest quality image here. And as you can see, an airplane went through our image. So we are going to uncheck that. And also, if you wanted to delete this later on, we could right click on it and hit the trash can here, which will put a dot back extension at the end of the file. And so that file will never be used again. It, AzTap will never bring it in. And you can quickly search for it and delete it later on. Let's click on the next one here. And this one, it looks okay, but uh, I think that's, that's got a few clouds that went in front of it. Let's check the next one. And that's looking much better. So from here on out, images should get better. Typically, you should go and check every single image, but I have already checked these and I know the rest are good. So next, I'm gonna go to the stack method tab up here and we're just gonna use the default settings. And I am gonna change one thing here. So the red channel, I'm gonna change that to the capital letter H, which is the type of filter, the hydrogen filter that we used. And then I'm going to make all of these channels, the green and the blue, a level of one, which means that they get applied 100%. And then all of the other ones, the green and the blue down here, I'm gonna set those to zero. And now we just simply hit the stack average button and it will create our image for us. And voila, we are finished over here in the right pane. It's actually going to show you a stretched image. This is what it looks like. 
And there are a couple different ways you can stretch it. These are just some default settings. Of course, you can play with them custom sliders yourself but for now I would recommend just sticking to some of the defaults and I kind of like that one right there that's a medium plus now from here we save it as a fits file we could save it as a PNG a TIFF file a TIFF file you should always save as a 32-bit right here now there is also a 16-bit option that is already pre-stretched so basically However it looks on the screen here, in the preview pane of ASTAP, that's how it's going to export it. And since I don't really want to work this on this in Photoshop anymore, we're just going to export this to a desktop. We'll name it NGC7000, that's what it is. And now let's save it. And that will put on my desktop this black and white image pretty easy. 